Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So today I'm working on my April haiku. So every month um, I decided I'm going to do a haiku and uh, do like a mixed media and then at the end of the year I will create a book. So this was January's and then this was February's and then this is, uh, this was March. Isn't that cute? Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, um, I will link the playlist to this in case you've missed some and you want to check them out. You can go back and you can uh, look at them. So, I think they are so cute. So, of course, today I'm working on April's. And I think I'm going to uh, just use my Distressed Inks this month. kind of wanted to keep it a little simple. Nothing too fancy, schmancy. So, I have Salty Ocean, I have Tumble Glass, I have Twisted Citron, and I have Cropped Pistachio. And I'm just going to willy-nilly put these on the page, right? I'm going to try not to think too much about it, because uh, when I do, it seems like, you know... It just doesn't work the way that I want it to work. Um, and because green and yellow, not green and yellow, <laughs> blue and yellow are beside one another in the color wheel, we should not make mud. So... Let me spritz this with some water and just to activate it, just to see what it would do. Okay, um, let me dry this and then I will be right back. Okay, pretty much dry. Um, let me go over it just a little bit more in this lighter color. I like that. Um, I am working on, uh, this is actually um, mixed media paper that I'm working on today. Uh, I think I want to go a little bit with the lighter green too. Just in some spots. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so now um, I have some stamps that I want to use. I've got some of these, and I'm just going to be using the colors that I've used for the background. So, I have this umbrella already cut out, and I also have pieces of the umbrella already cut out. Uh-oh, it went wonky on me. Hold on just a second. Sorry, I had to re-piece it back together. So this is the way that the umbrella will go together. So, right now, I'm just going to move these out of the way because I'm going to use them as a template. I'm just moving them up so that they can pretty much stay the way that they need to be. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, put this down. And I'm going to use some matte medium to do that. Okay, so 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to the side and let it dry and then we can move on to the next thing that I want to do. And that is create the colors of, I think we'll go ahead and do the, um, the umbrella. And for that I wanted to use worn lipstick and not peeled paint. Dusty Concord. So, what I want to do is just make a little mat here, a little palette, right? And then I again have just a piece of uh, mixed media, and I just want to smush that on there. Right. All right, and then I'm going to let that dry, and then wipe up this mess, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the purple. make the colors for the leaves because I'm going to be using stamps for um, my flowers and my leaves and I have all these little these are solid colors so I want to go ahead and I'm going to use a little bit of cracked pecan and um, maybe a little bit of peeled paint on there as well and a little bit of the citron and then I'm going to stamp these out onto a sheet. Okay. I'm going to do that a couple of times. Okay. Oh, and this is just a uh, mixed media paper that I'm using. Now, I think I got all the greenery that I want. So, let's just put these back on. I don't need those anymore. All right, now I want to do the colors for the... Um, Flowers. And again, these I need solid colors. Okay, so I've got these that I will um, print and then color in. So, but what I want to do right now is do these solid ones. And let's just see, like what the shaded lilac will do. Oh, that's cute. So I've got shaded lilac, I've got pick raspberry, spice marmalade, and mustard seed. I think I'll just do one of each color. And this stamp came from just a Stamp set, I believe it came from like just from Joann's in their little $1.99 bin. I think that's where I got these stamps. This one. This one, it is part of this 
which is, I think, part of, I really don't remember what my stamps are. I think this is a um, one from Joann's as well. Sorry, I took all my stamps and put them in a binder, and now I don't know um, who they're from. So I apologize about that. But if I can remember, I will tell you. So, all right. So now let me get the solid one. Oh, I just put my, I put my stuff over. And I'm going to do the same thing. Alright. So now I got those. And now what I want to do is, um, I kind of want to do the same thing that I did here. And I just cut these. Yeah. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay. So again, I'm just gonna make a palette. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry, and while I'm waiting for those to dry, let's see. this is dry, so we can start working then on, and these are dry, so. What I don't want to do, oops, I just took my fingers all over that. Alright, so let me bring my umbrella down. It got all messed up again. Okay, so it's like that. So like, I think I want this to be pink, this one to be pink, this one to be pink, this one to be pink, and this one to be pink, and then these will be purple. Right. All right, so I need my pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and do it on the front side because I will end up using probably like a black marker to outline anyway, so if some of the pencil line is on there, it'll be okay. But I'm just tracing out my template here the best that I can. Okay, so I've got it all cut out, and what I'm going to do is on the back, I'm just going to write numbers on the back of these so that I will know where they go. And what I want to do before I put these down though is I think I want to um, paint this gray 
only because in case you know they're cut weird and that they don't quite go together um, at least you won't see stark white behind it so let me get my light gray I'm gonna get the lightest gray that I have because that's what I want um, I think I'm gonna use this wisteria glycerin it's a it's purple but it's like a grayish purple you know and I think it'll be pretty I think it'll be okay to use and again I'm just gonna put it on the umbrella and I'm I'm not really caring like too much about the way it looks because it's gonna be covered now I can put these on all you need to do all I need to do is just glue these on and I think I'm gonna just use my Nouveau deluxe adhesive to put them down and then I may go over it with um, matte medium so but for right now I just want to get these in place and I figured the glue would be the easiest way to accomplish that. Alright, and I will go over it with um, Mod Podge. I do believe I want to do that. Oh, that glue got there and it is ugly. Okay, not Mod Podge, but Matte Medium. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So while I'm waiting on that to dry, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut out all of these, all of these little flowers and these guys. So I'm going to fussy cut those while I'm waiting on this. And then on these, what I want to do is take my stamps take these two floral stamps and see if I can put them both on the same thing I think I can and I'm gonna use my black um, ink okay and I'm just gonna after I got them inked well maybe I should do this on my stamping pad so that I can double it up. Alright, this is not making a very clean impression. Let me get my the platform. Seem to be working. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna stamp on all these colors that I made for the flowers, and then I'm gonna fussy cut them out and fussy cut out all the other little elements, the leaves and those little berry looking things. And once I get them all cut out, I will be back. Okay, so this is dry. I've got all my flowers cut out. And so now what I want to do is I want to use my um, the same two colors that I used to create the umbrella I'm going to use to put pokey dots on them. So I'll use the pink on the pink, on, I mean on the purple.
bit um, matte medium over this, I'm going to be able to use my pit pins and go over. Um, I do want to see, okay, that matches that pretty well, but that's that pink raspberry. And that is more reddish. So we'll use this, which is um, middle purple pink. And all I'm going to do is just go over and kind of smush it to kind of highlight. And give depth to these umbrella pieces. And I'm going to do the same with the purple. Okay, sorry about the dogs barking. Um, I think though I do want to go back over like I lost the polka dots there so I want to go back and add them on the purple pieces. do is I'm going to take my gray pit pen and I'm just going to go around and use it as a shadow to set it in to the page. I like that a lot. Oh, it's so cute. It is really, 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 really cute. Okay, so what I want to do now, now that that is dry, you know what I might do? Should I put glossy accents on it, y'all, so that it looks plastic? But I've got these leaves cut out, right? I think I want, like, one to go up like this, and maybe this one to come down like that. And then maybe this one going like that. Maybe that one going like that. That going like that. And maybe one more going up like that this right something along those lines and then what I want to do is like the bigger flower and then put you know just put these flowers in here whatever way so that it's like um we got that, put that like that, put that one here, put that like that. Then if we need to, we even have these leaves. So I don't think you're going to see it that much, really, once I put everything that I want to on there. And that's a shame because this turned out super cute. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should just make it... Just 
go like so that I'm not covering up everything because I don't want to cover up this whole thing maybe something like that right and then put the and just a few of the smaller flowers in and like Something like that, I think would look cute. Maybe put that there. Because I don't want to lose the umbrella, but I want the flowers to be in there. All right, I think that's going to work. But I want to, this handle is bugging me. I think it needs something. I could put that going up like that. Right? And that one going like that. And maybe that one going up like that. Put that along those lines or like this. We can have just a couple coming down. There we go. Maybe something like that will work. But this needs something. Like either, let's see, what if I took my black pen and kind of just did some cross hatching here. So it's just kind of sketchy. Something like that. And okay, maybe we'll just do something like that. And I'll use my white gel pen to highlight it. Okay, found it. And then kind of just like that. Okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do, let me dry that, make sure it's dry. Okay, I think it's good. Alright, so now what I want to do is, I'm going to take my matte medium and my brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay these where I think I want okay, them. Okay, so now what I think I want to do is just use my gray pit pen and kind of just set this stuff into the page, you know. And then what I think I will do is like on these guys right here. Um, I think I'm going to take my Micron number uh, five. No, this is a number one. It's number one. Yeah, one. And I'm just going to go around these little dots. I think that will look really cute. It gives it more of a um, sketch look, which I like. Right. And I'm not being, you know, too, too, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Too uh, specific, too, 
Uh, I don't know what word I'm going. And then like on the flowers, I think I'll do the same thing. I go just around like that. Just sketchy. I'm just making it sketchy looking. And I think I'll even do a little bit of that on the leaves. Just a little. Yeah, I kind of like that better. And then let me just finish going around. Thing. And what I think I'm going to do is maybe just go in and touch up a little bit of some of these flowers. Okay, so um, what I did is I went with this fine um, fabric Castell Pit Pen and I kind of outlined everything um, again just to bring it out a little bit more and I like that and now I'm taking um, my London Fog and I'm just going to go on the edge with it just to give it like a little border going to write the haiku on here and I think I'm just going to use this fine um, the fine fabric castell pen now I'm just going to go around everything with my um, Cigna pen and Just do a little bit of detail work now. Okay, now I think I'm going to take some of my stickles. I'm going to just put it right here and right here. And then I'm going to take some of my glossy accents. And put it where the raindrops are. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my haiku for this month. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. Alright y'all, thanks so much for watching. Y'all be good to one another and I'll talk to you later.